welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today I'm looking a little bit weird. <laughs> I tried to do like a monochromatic look with my eyes and my lips and it kind of worked. I kind of feel like I went a bit OTT on the lips. <laughs> so they're looking a little weird right now. I'm hoping once I've got mascara and lashes on and everything it'll look okay <laughs> which talking about mascara that is what I'm going to be reviewing in this video I was moseying on round in boots the other day and I came across this which I was like excuse me <laughs> Disney have teamed up with L'Oreal to come out with a mascara if you're new here and you don't know I'm obsessed with Disney <laughs> and if you are new to the channel why not subscribe you can hit the red button down below and the bell button to get notified of my new uploads if you're not new to the channel then you will already know I'm obsessed with Disney <laughs> so when I saw a picture of Bambi in the makeup aisle, I got a little bit excited. <laughs> So L'Oreal have released a new mascara called Bambi Eye False Lash. I got this from Boots, but you can also obtain it from like Superdrug. It's available quite widely online as well. It's $10.99 at the moment in Superdrug, but things like L'Oreal and stuff do go on offer, so keep your eyes out for a cheaper price. The before and after pictures looked really good. They intrigued me, so I wanted to see where I was going to go like on my eyelashes. I have kind of medium average eyelashes. I wouldn't say they're the best things in the world, but I, just like anyone, loves a good mascara. So I really wanted to give this a go and do like a side by side before and after so you guys can see exactly what happens to my eyeballs. For reference my favourite kind of mascaras are clumpy, thick, lengthening mascaras but I don't like spider lashes. I just like my lashes to like thick and plump. My favourite mascara at the moment is the Revolution The Mascara. Really good, really affordable. High end, I really love their Real by Benefit. That's one of my favourite ever mascaras. The claims on this mascara is that it's going to give you a wide eyed lash look. Try saying that 10 times fast. <laughs> It's got a curl that stays up all day, ultra black velvet intensity, curled bristle brush to reach every lash. So with all that said, let's zoom you guys in and have a look at the results. I need to sort out my naked mole rat eyes. <laughs> is this going to make me look as cute as Bambi? That is the question. <laughs> Alright, so you are close and personal right now, <laughs> but I wanted you to really see what was happening. Please, once again, ignore my eyebrows. Okay, seeing Ariana Grande next week. And uh, I can't control my excitement, but I'm waiting to have my brows done to, you know, sort them out for when I go see her. Okay, so please don't judge me. Oh, and I am doing a foundation review, so if anything looks funky, you'll know why. I haven't touched on my foundation. Dedication to the cause, guys. Dedication. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's like a silver tube, very pretty, very sleek and basic, with the Bambi Eye false slash on the front. And opening it up... This is what the wand looks like. It's kind of bowed out in the middle, so instead of an hourglass shape, you got like an apple shape going on here. <laughs> and it's got kind of like short, stubby bristles. And it's a plastic wand, so I kind of like to have like a mixture between bristle and plastic. Sometimes you can get those ones. Plastic and bristle tend to give two completely different looks in my opinion. I've never really got the same effect from a bristle and a plastic brush. They've always looked slightly different. So this is what my eyelashes look without the mascara. As you can tell, they are, well, they look non-existent because they're blonde. <laughs> so they're kind of hard to see, but I don't have crazy long lashes. But let's go in with this mascara and see what it does. I'm excited. So let's go. Oh, it feels quite stiff, but it's giving me quite a lot of length already. I've got a little Minnie Mouse mirror, by the way. <laughs> so freaking cute. Formula seems to be kind of in the middle, not too dry and not too wet. I personally hate wet formula mascaras. I much prefer them to be kind of like dry. If I get a wet formula mascara, I'll wait until it's dried out a little bit to use it. This is giving me a lot, a lot of length and slight thickness. I usually prefer something that gives a little bit more thickness, but we'll see as we add more layers if it gets any thicker. But that's a before and after of the first coat. I've let it just kind of sit for a minute or so, so now I'm gonna go in with a second layer. Typically, I'm a one and done kind of girl. <laughs> I don't really like to layer up my mascaras too often. I just like to be able to shove it on and go. I can't work out whether I like this wand or not. Always when I'm filming, somebody decides to have a bath and leaves the door open, so it's so freaking loud. <laughs> okay, so that's the second coat. 
of the mascara. Um, it has added a little bit more thickness, which I do quite like. It's not as thick and clumpy as I personally like. It has kind of given a spidery lash look, which isn't my favourite. Like, they all look the same kind of thickness all the way up, if, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not bad at all. I wouldn't say it's the blackest black, but it's... The wand is kind of thick and chunky, but it's not overpowering so I don't feel like I'm gonna instantly bump my face but it is still kind of on the chunky side. <laughs> I'm gonna see how it works for lower lash line to see if that's gonna be an issue. Hmm, I have kind of managed to bump my lash line a little bit which is great. I don't feel like it's the best for my lower lash line. It's okay but I feel like it's clumped up more on my lower lash line that it has my top lashes. What's that about? <laughs> I feel like my lash is maybe drooping slightly as well, which isn't normal. <laughs> my lashes usually stay pretty curled. I mean, the formula doesn't feel heavy. I barely feel like I've got anything on my eyes. Personally, I think this is pretty average. <laughs> I was expecting more from a Disney collab, okay? I'm a little bit heartbroken right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish up the other eye real quick and then we'll be back to discuss my final thoughts. <laughs> Okay, so this is both eyes done. I'm gonna zoom you guys out and we'll discuss my thoughts on the mascara. Yeah, <laughs> see you in a sec. All right, you guys, so final thoughts on the mascara. Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's nothing mind-blowing. It's not the blackest mascara either. It took a little bit of building up, especially on my lash line because I had like concealer on my eyelashes, so it kind of went a little bit gray. It's not the blackest black and Personally, I would just rather get something like the Makeup Revolution one. It's actually cheaper and, in my opinion, gives a better result. This kind of gives like a fluffy, spidery kind of lash. So if you like that kind of thing, you'll probably like this mascara. But yeah, apart from that, I'm underwhelmed. <laughs> Alright guys, well that is it for this very short and sweet video. I like doing reviews on individual products like this because in some instances, like this one, there are zero reviews for this product on some websites, like on Superdrug and stuff, so it's nice to give the people the answers, you know? <laughs> so I hope you guys appreciated and enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up so I know. And if you're new here, please subscribe. You just need to hit the red button down below and the bell button and you'll get notified of all my future uploads. I do many other things on my channel. <laughs> Not just individual makeup product reviews, I do a plethora of makeup things. So yeah, if you want more makeup stuff, then why not subscribe? But I am now going to love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you in the next one. Till then, bye guys. Thank you.